is the ability to rush the passer as well. Third and goal. That pass is intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Sean Smith. Smith up the sideline with blockers in front of him. This is going to be a Kansas City touchdown. Ball. They're already in the red zone. They are deadly here. Warner. Intercepted. It's the rookie. Lewis Dalvis still going. And Dalvis is in the end zone. Palmer sits in. Pass picked off. Intercepted by Rhodes. Xavier Rhodes down the sideline and good by touchdown Vikings. No flags. At the bottom here, the tight end. Stafford end zone throw is intercepted. Another Cardinal takeaway. Greg Toller. He might go. He could go. He did go. Touchdown. 102 yards from one end zone to the other. Big play, third and goal. Interception. He'll score. Barry Wilburn, 100 yards with the interception. No flags are down. The quarterback uh, sends a man in motion to the right in Herman Moore and back to pass. And in the middle, it is intercepted. It might go all the way for the Packers. Down the side, it will George go. Teague. All right, Teague George. at the midfield stripe. Teague at the 40. He's Teague is on his way. He's at the 20. Teague for a touchdown <laughs> on the interception at the goal line by George Teague. And there is justice in this world. And that's over 100 yards, Jim. He caught that in the end zone. What a run by George Teague. Pass is picked off. Intercepted by McCann. No one to get him. Brian McCann all alone. Touchdown, Dallas Cowboys. There are no flags. From the gun. Steelers show blitz. Here they come. He gets it away and it's picked off at the goal line. There's a flag thrown on the run back. James Harrison to run it back. And Harrison is past midfield. Harrison going down the sideline. Harrison still on his feet. Harrison is going to go all the way and waiting for the official to get there. Touchdown is signal. A flag is down on the run back, back at the nine yard line. Third and seven, Matt Moore has time. Threw it right to Revis, interception. Revis down the side, cuts back to this side, one block, and he's gone. Darrell Revis all the way home, 100 yards, touchdown. Second and eight from the Browns' 18-yard line. Blitz coming. Here's Bowler back. He got hit. That ball's up in the air. And it's going to be intercepted by Bronte Poole. He's back. 20, 25, 30, 35. He's got the Go sideline. And he's going to go. He's to the 30. He's to the 20. He's to the 10. Five. Touchdown. 99 yards. 102. Excuse me. Hey, don't shortchange him, Doug. The tackle. Then Aikman under pressure. Look what happened. Steps up. He's picked off by James Willis. He's going to run out of the end zone. I need somebody faster. There's Troy Mitchell. Look at Nate. Two and eight can't get him. Nate Newton. Whoop. Whoop. Yay. I can't get him. Don't tell me Vincent's going all the way. A play that combined went 102 yards. Touchdown. That's Keyshawn. Outside. And intended for Witten and intercepted by Lido Shepard. And Shepard with only one man to beat, and he'll beat him, and he gets a block. And then Keyshawn's going to chase him down, but won't get there. Touchdown, Lido Shepard. 100 yards. 
It was a 57 yard penalty on Michael Lewis to set up this opportunity second and goal. Bledsoe into the end zone and he's picked off. Back the other way. Lido Shepard all alone. The Philadelphia Eagles take it over Dallas. Lead early in the third quarter. After a Texans punt, Kansas City drove to the Houston two yard line, seemingly in cruise control with an eight point lead. But Green's pass to Gonzalez fluttered into the hands of Marcus Coleman, who raced 102 yards for the touchdown. Following a two point conversion, the game was tied 14 all late in the third quarter. Speedy picked off a Kansas City pass and returned it for a league record 100 yards. Duncan and other key performers kept the Chargers winning through the 60s. But as the 1970s began... Here comes the pressure all over, and the pass is intercepted. Chris Houston. He'll go all the way. And a touchdown, the second defensive touchdown of the game for the Lions. Two wides each way. Ben gets the snap. He steps up. He throws it for the end zone. It's broken up. Intercepted at the 10, 20. This card in the 30, 40. Ben in pursuit at the 50. He's going to run by Ben, and he is gone for the touchdown. 100 yards. Interception return. Second of the game for Oakland, and the Steelers stand in shock. In the third quarter, Joey Montana, San Francisco threatening. On the Falcon six, goes over the middle. The ball picked off by number 27, Tom Pridemore. He gets a sheath of blockers, moves to the right sideline. Nobody going to get a chance to touch him. Makes you good to see a kid like Pridemore perform this way. He's a member of the West Virginia State Legislature. And after that 101-yard touchdown return on the intercept, he can get any bill he wants passed in that state legislature. What a return. Headed into overtime. However, Ed Reed turned out the lights on a Browns comeback and sealed a 27-13 Ravens victory when he returned an interception and NFL record 106 yards for a touchdown as Baltimore raised their record to 5-3 while the Browns fell to 3-5. Bob still has it. Throws into the end zone. It's intercepted by Ed Reed. He gets away from Cobb and he is still going down the sideline. Brent Selleck trying to cut him off. Reed needs one more block. He goes all the way. Touchdown. Late in the third quarter, the Cowboys ride back to the Giant 10. Moe rushes LeBaron. And Barnes intercepts in the end zone. A block by Livingston clears Erich for a record-tying 102-yard sideline sprint. The Giants take their fourth straight on the road as they crush Dallas 31 to 10. And Thomas in motion, third and goal. Intercepted. It is Lewis Oliver again. Does he have a touchdown? Kelly can't get him. Lewis Oliver all the way. 102 yards. Last week, the Seattle Seahawks were away from home, and the Kansas City Chiefs went out of their way to make them feel unwelcome. One hundred and two yards out of their way, as a matter of fact. That's how far Kansas City safety man Gary Barbaro traveled with this ill-advised Jim Zorn pass. Ours is what drove the Miami Dolphins last year. Where has this been in terms of consistency? And here's Brock Barry. You talk about Johnny on the spot. Remember the big Monday night game? He could go all the 
away a rarity, a 100-yard interception return. Wow! 34-7. Miami wins it. The Bengals' defense grounded Eric Coriel and buried the Chargers. Cornerback Lewis Breeden scored on the longest interception return in Cincinnati history, 102 yards, and the Bengals beat the highest scoring team in pro football, 40 to 17. After it went over the Rams, the Bengals burned the Broncos behind the all. In 2002, the Bengals showed signs of promise. In week nine, Artrell Hawkins intercepted a pass and returned it 102 yards, tying a team record. at least 102 yards for the touchdown. On second and goal, he looks for Tim Brown, three touchdowns, no! Instead, it's Donald Frank! He could go all the way! 102 yards! What a turnaround! Gliding! The Lightning Bolts lead 24 to 17. The second straight loss against top divisional teams, but in the first quarter as Elway looks to bring the club in, San Diego's defense, is it possible, Vince is left. And he could go all the way. And I'll tell you what all the way means. Add him up. 103 yards. Longest return in Charger history for a touchdown. And it's 7-0 charges on the defense early. Defense forced six turnovers, including this one on the game's final offensive play. Tony Green traveled the length of the football field and then some. 101 yards as Buffalo buried the Chiefs 50 to 17. Then safety Eddie Anderson returned an interception 102 yards to set an all-time Raider record. But the Bills' secondary again came through. Tom Yannick made his second interception of the day as he snuck in front of Curly Johnson and turned a near-jet touchdown into a blazing 100-yard interception that made it 17-7 in Buffalo's favor. And two others were scored by the Chiefs' defense as Raider quarterback Mike Ray had his problems reading the Kansas City secondary. Cornerback Tim Collier's 100-yard interception return gave the Chiefs the lead at the half. Fourth down, Tommy. They go for it. Marino to Randall Hill. Oh, and it's Aaron Glenn at the goal line. Danny's not going to catch up. That's it, friend? Yes.